Um, hey guys, I'm back with another story. Um, right now I'm doing a story time. So, so I'm in my car again because I just I don't know if I posted that last video, but I'm doing another video. But yeah, but anyways, basically, um, I was like eight years old. Yeah, I was about eight years old, and this was back when I used to live in Hawaii, and like I used to have some. They weren't really my neighbors. Like, I wouldn't say they were my neighbors. Like, I, I kind of had to go out the way to get to their house. But basically, they're basically, um, they're like my neighbors, but they didn't live, like, right next to me. Like, they're kind of, like, down the street. So, I remember one day, like, this was, like, super embarrassing. This was before I stole the cat. So, I used to have a lot of Barbies, because I'm pretty sure we all had Barbies as a kid or whatever. So, I brought my whole Barbie house to their house and on their porch. And they usually show up around, like, 5 o'clock, I remember. And I was playing with the cats on my Barbie house. And there was this, like, one little baby kitten. His name was, like, Mango. And he was so cute to me. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I used to play with him all the time. And then one, th one time the neighbors just pulled up. And, um, yeah, it was pretty embarrassing because I was playing with the cats on my Barbie house. So, yeah, that was funny. And, but basically, back to the story, um... One day, they weren't home, and I just, like, okay, let me talk about the first attempt where I thought about stealing the cat. They had this one white cat, I don't know his name, but I just took it on my bike, and I took it to the park. Yeah, and then I turned back around, because I was like, oh no, what if they're there? And then I pulled back up on my bike, and then the, they were home, and then I was like, oh, um, I saw your cat at the park, so I just had to bring it back. Like, just come out with, like, the stupidest lie ever. That happened. And then the time I actually stole the cat, it was a little baby kitten. I don't remember what happened. I just remember I just took it home one day because I had to go home before the street lights came on because I was, like, eight years old. And I just stole the cat, and I set it up in my garage. Like, there's, like, these cabinets in my garage. And, like, the, it was also the laundry room. But I poured a cup of milk and sat it in there. And I sat my tablet in there so it could watch, like, a cat show. I don't know. It was, like, some cat show. And I had, like, a little blanket in there. And the cat was chilling in there. And then the next morning, <laughs> the next morning when I woke up, no, I was playing. I took the cat to my room before I sat it, like, in there. So I was chilling with the cat in my bed. But the next morning when I woke up, I went to go see the cat. And the milk cup was spilled over. And the cat, it was just chilling. Okay, it was just sleeping. And I picked it up. And I was going to take it back to my room, but then my brother came in because he was doing his laundry or something. And then I put the cat behind my back, and I had my back, like, arched, like, all the way like that because I was laying on the cat with, like, a pillow behind me. So, yeah, so he can see it. And I wasn't laying on the cat. Like, I had, like, my back super arched so the cat could be under me. But, yeah. Then the cat was like, meow, meow. And he was, like, <laughs> he was meowing, like, really loud. And then my brother came in. He was like, what, was that you and I was like oh yeah and I started making cat noises and stuff and then the cat started like meowing a lot and there's just like move <laughs> then he saw the cat <laughs> then he saw the cat and he took the cat and he was like oh where do you find it at and I was like oh it crawled in through the garage <laughs> I told him it crawled through the garage door and <laughs> Yeah, that happened. And then he called He called my parents. My parents were both at work. And he was like, oh, yeah, we found a cat in the garage. Can we keep him? And then my parents were like, no, put it outside. And I was so sad. It was so terrible. But the cat, we put it outside. And then my parents got home the next day. Um, they saw, um, I, I was cleaning my room because my parents were making me. They lived, like, right next door to me. They are like, oh, it's a kitty. And they all were screaming down, like, trying to pick it up. And I was, like, I was in my room window, and I was, like, no, don't touch the cat. Don't leave the cat alone. <laughs> and basically what ended up happening was, like, the cat went around, like, the whole neighborhood. Like, everyone had the cat for a second. And what ended up happening was um, the people's cat that I stole, they were, like, looking for it. And it ended up being, like, like, there was a guy who lived, like, across the street from them. He ended up having the cat, and he was taking care of it. And then they got the cat back, and, yeah, that was the end of the story. They never caught me, though. Like, they never knew it was me. But after that, I don't think I stole their cat anymore. I think I came to visit, but I think they were suspect of me, so I stopped going as much. But, yeah. 
that was a story time of the time I stole my neighbor's cat. Um, I don't steal cats anymore. For real, I don't. I don't even steal anymore. I'm a good kid. But, um, yeah. I hope you, you, you enjoyed this. <laughs> I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah. Peace out. Hashtag no stealing.